Hey everybody, welcome back to Wine Out RV. On this week's episode, we're gonna go ahead and install a Victron Energy BMV712 battery monitor onto this Tiffin. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna learn more and make less mistakes while RVing. Check us out online at whynotrvusa.com. We're also now on Patreon at patreon.com backslash whynotrv. And we have an amazing Facebook group that is growing very, very quickly. So come join us on Facebook. It's just Why Not RV on, under Facebook groups. But I'm going to put a link in the description below for all those websites. Let's start by going over some of the basic things that we're going to need to get this job done. It's really going to be pretty simple because the way this battery bank is already set up, it makes it pretty simple to get it done. Okay, so we don't really need a whole lot for this project. All we need is our hydraulic crimpers. We need our 4 rock cable. We need our lugs, some... Uh, heat shrink and the actual battery monitor. Uh, that's really all we need for this project. The battery monitor has a couple things in it. We'll go over once we get started. Let me show you the battery bank and show you how we're gonna get this done. If you don't already know, basically these, th this battery monitor goes in line on the negative side of the uh, batteries. So basically everything that's negative on the coach is gonna go into the battery monitor uh, on one side and then off the battery monitor the other side goes to the batteries. So right now, there's only two wires that are on this coach. We have the wire for the inverter and we have the main wire that feeds the main uh, distribution block. These two wires are all I really have to move. I'm gonna go ahead and take those. They're gonna go on one side of the battery monitor. I'm gonna make my new cable and that cable is gonna go ahead and connect right back over here to this end of the uh, negative side of the battery bank. Uh, with this battery bank, these are six volt batteries. There's six of them. Uh, so you got two in series, two in series, two in series then obviously parallel, parallel, parallel. So the positive, the main positive comes in here, the main negative comes out here. There is the inverter right here. That's just how they wired it. We're gonna go and redo that. Again, these two are gonna go to the battery monitor, battery monitor right back over here. So let's get this thing started. I did actually find one more negative connection. It's a very tiny little cable uh, for this Power Plus uh, battery maintainer. So that's also gonna go to the, the battery monitor um, on, on the shunt. So let's go ahead and get it mounted up. Uh, we're gonna find a good mounting spot, probably back on this wall, but we're gonna go ahead and figure that out and get it mounted up. All right, so to mount this, again, our negative's gonna go right here. So I got this cable that was left over from a different project, and I figure we get it somewhere right over here. We mount the battery shunt right about there on that wall. So let's go ahead and get this mounted up. Okay. So we mounted the battery monitor back here. Uh, I just used two little self tappers to mount it on here. Um, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make my cable. It's gonna come off this end, come over to the battery, and then we're gonna move all of our cables to this side. And uh, that's that's the, the basics of it. We got a couple other wires to hook up and we'll go over that process too. All right, so to make these battery cable connections, I've done this in many videos, but you know, we got our wire stripped back, got my lug, goes on. We make sure that all the copper it's nice and tight. So I got a little strand sticking out, so let's get this fixed. Okay, now that's all in there. We can go ahead and use a hydraulic crimper and crimp it down. Now that's there, we can take our heat shrink, put it right over top, nice and clean. I like to use my torch. You can, of course, use a hair dryer for this as well. Probably a little bit better to use a hair dryer. A torch will burn these if you don't know what you're doing. But now I have a nice, clean battery cable connection. All right, now we have our cables ready, or our cable ready to go. Let's get back over to the batteries. Okay, so I got our new, our new cable mounted to this side of the shunt and ready to get hooked up right over here. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect our three wires. We're gonna get those connected over there and get our negative connected here and move from there. Okay. Okay. All right, so we have all our negative connections done. We have our negative coming off here, going to the battery. And uh, I ran our positive, which goes in the first slot. I think it's labeled B1, right to a positive terminal on the battery. 
So now we can go get the actual monitor set up, which we're gonna go ahead and mount the monitor. Let's see if I can back up out of frame here. Just right over here. All right, so we got the battery monitor mounted right here. I just cut a hole in this, put it in. Uh, it has our communication wire, which then goes right over to the shunt, as you can see, plugged in right there. And uh, now we're gonna go and open up the app and get this thing set up. Well, that's really it. I mean, we opened up the app, put in the pin code, which is six zeros, changed it to his personal one, um, you know, put in the voltage for the battery, um, which every battery is different. You gotta look up your batteries and, and just did, did the, the basic walkthrough on the app. Very simple, very easy. And now uh, Rob here in his Tiffin, he can mount, monitor his batteries while we're at Harvest Host. Um, before, he's just guessing. He had no idea, you know, where the battery was at. He didn't know if the, if the fridge was draining it below 50%, causing extra damage. Um, he would just turn the generator on, you know, two hours in the evening, two hours in the morning, just to kind of hope that the batteries were good, but he really didn't know. So now with that battery monitor, he's able to, to you know, monitor everything and know exactly where the batteries are at, the state of charge, all that stuff. So pretty simple install. I hope you guys uh, learned something, enjoyed the video. Please uh, leave a like, uh, drop a comment below. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching Why Not RV. Bye.